Hello! Canvas has introduced a new rich content editor. The rich content editor is the text box where you type content and where you can adjust text using bold, italics, insert links, or add media. This editor will be changed for everyone, including instructors and students. Instructors see this while making pages, assignments, and quizzes. Students will encounter it using text entry submissions and on discussion boards. When you enter somewhere in Canvas using the rich content editor, you'll see that the icons and graphics have been updated. The new rich content editor uses more drop-down menu features. The first option on the left is to change the size of your text. Next is the styling blocks, such as headings and paragraph tags. Next is the bold, italics, and underline options. The text color has a drop-down. It shows different colors to choose from and a palette in the bottom right to choose a custom color. The Highlight Color drop-down also shows the preset color options and a palette to choose a custom color. The Next button gives options to create superscript and subscript text. The Links drop-down gives you two options, External Links or Course Links. External Links pops up a menu to insert link. You'll add the text for the link's text to display and the URL for the link destination. Course Links pops out to a panel to the right side, similar to the old panel, but this new panel is more intuitive. You can choose between links and files. At the top, you can use a search within the course you are in. To search, type the name you are looking for and then click the content type below. Otherwise, you can also leave the search blank and manually look through pages, assignments, quizzes, announcements, discussions, modules, and course navigations. Next is the tool to add images. Upload images will pop up a menu where you can upload images from your computer into the Canvas course. You can also search for images using Unsplash or from a URL. It is also recommended to add alt text for accessibility at this time. Course images will pop out a panel on the right side, which will preview images already in that course. You can also switch to user files to insert an image from your user account. There is also a search function. User images is similar to course images, except it starts on the user account, but you can toggle over to course files as well. The Record or Upload Media button looks for videos that are already uploaded in a panel similar to the course images and user images menu. Note that Kaltura is located under a different menu. The Documents button displays Upload Document, Course Documents, and User Documents. These options work the same as the options under the Images button, except it filters for documents instead of images. One of the more important options is the Plug button, which is used to access apps. Recent apps will appear on the initial dropdown. Otherwise, you will select View All to look for them. When you click View All, a menu will pop up, which you can scroll or search through the apps enabled in the course. Some important apps to note that may be useful are the SUU Library's Alexander Street videos, which have videos that can be used in classes. Google LTI, which can link or embed documents from your Google Drive. And Embed Kaltura Media, which can link videos you have made with Kaltura Capture, or Zoom recordings that have migrated into your Kaltura My Media. When you pick out the app needed, you will click on its name. This will progress through the product's menus to embed the content you need into Canvas. After you have used an app, it will show right away under the drop-down. The next buttons help with document alignment, creating ordered and unordered lists, and increasing and decreasing indent. Next to that, you have a button to clear formatting, a button to help create and edit tables in the content, an equation creator, and an embed code button, which helps from sites that give embedded codes, such as YouTube videos. Above the buttons is a menu that reads Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools, and Table. This menu contains all of the buttons as well as more tools to edit the appearance of the text. Many of these tools will be familiar from word processing programs. If you have any questions as you learn the new rich content editor, contact us at canvas at suu.edu or call us at 435-865-8555. Thank you.